Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2010 60 plate BMW 118i 2 litre petrol finished off in metallic white. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use the prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop. And we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back around to the start, we're going to zoom back in and we'll look over the car panel by panel. So the near side front wing is in okay condition. Near side front door and near side rear quarter look good too. Near side front alloy in decent condition with only one or two light markings and a couple of age related spots. And the near side front tire approximately four mil. Moving down the near side, the wing looks good. The door does need refinishing and we'll get that done at our body shop prior to sale. And we'll touch up or blow into that quarter as well. One or two light marks as you'd expect on that quarter there as well near side rear alloy looks good one or two age related marks near side rear tire approximately four mil looking down the near side now from rear to front rear quarters are good doors good and the wing is good moving around the rear now check out the rear bumper and lower plastics as you can see other than age related wear and tear the bumper looks pretty good tail lights and the tailgate look good the lining whilst the roof down is good as well we will show it with the roof up at the end of the video looking down the off side of the car now from rear to front offside rear quarter looks in good condition offside door looks good and the offside front wing looks good one or two marks to touch up on the rear quarter but nothing major offside rear alloy is good again age related marks offside rear tire approximately four mil moving down the offside offside door edge and a couple of marks want touching in Side front wing has a couple of touch ups to be done as well a little bit of corrosion on that front wing as well offside front alloy in good condition with a few age related marks and the offside front tire approximately four or five mil looking back down the offside from front to rear front wing looks good offside door looks good and the offside rear quarter looks good moving down the front of the car now we're going to check out all lights and grills in the front bumper itself all lights and grills look good as for the front bumper, for the age and marge of the car is in pretty good condition as well. A few light marks to be touched in. Other than that, a few light blemishes in the paintwork just in the bottom corner as you can see. Other than that, looks good. Final panel is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork on the bonnet is in good condition. There are no major dents or scratches. But again, for an age of, car of this age of mileage, a few stone chips as you can see dotted around to be touched in prior to sale. Before we make our way over the interior, we'll check out the front screen. As you can see, front screen is in good condition. There are no major chips or cracks. A couple of light surface pepperings, and we have a little scratch from the wipers. But other than that, looks in good condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car, starting in the boot. All carpets and plastics in good condition in the boot, other than light wear and tear, as you can see. These mats, if the fall is carrying fits, are bonuses. We don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles. And all the trims underneath the boot lid in good condition as well. Nice and easy to stick the phone over on cabs. Rear bench looks in good condition. We've got two factory headrests, two three-point seat belts, and ice fixed fittings to both outer seats. As you can see, seats look in decent condition. Backs of both seats look good, and the rear carpets look good. Moving through the front, front door cards look in good condition. Tiny little mark just there. Again, nothing major. Front carpets look good, front seats look in good condition as well, bolsters still firm, holding their shape, just a bit of muck on there, uh, no excessive wear, no rips, no tears on that one, a little bit of wear just on the, a little bit of a nick just on that passenger seat there, not horrendous, no cigarette burns, no traces of any odours at all, no signs of any dash repairs, so what we'll do is we'll start the car up, and run through as much of the spec as I can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable side mirrors. Light controls to the right of the steering wheel there, as you can see. Moving across to the centre console. We've got the adjustable armrest, manual handbrake. You do have a bit of bubbling and of the plastic just coming off on that console there, as you can see. Moving up, we've got an automatic transmission. Roof controls in the centre, we'll show those at the end. Dual climate control and air conditioning. FM and AM radio, Let's see what kind of other options we've got, CD player and auxiliary as well. You've got the push button start, 
and finished off with a leather bound multi-function steering wheel this car's on 83,332 miles so now i'm just going to pop the roof up show you the operation and then finish the video with a final walk around with the roof up Brilliant. So once that finalises, there we go. I'm going to jump out, do you a quick walk around, and then, as you can see, condition of the roof of the age of the car is really good. Nice little car for its age. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.